Captain has its own inherent risk with the whole planet, and so now we're seeing um, greedy, greedy with a lot of very greedy people that want to make a lot of money on our, our environment and natural resources, but more so to the detriment of the public. So uh, fracking, pipelines, infrastructure, LNG export, it all ties together. Um, I don't want to go into too much more detail. I think Pam actually did a really good job. <laughs> Um, I know it's not easy to come up here when you don't have everything, you know, at the top of your <coughs> I appreciate what you're saying. Okay, I, I've known this story for years about, um, yeah. yeah, I mean, I've been here with you at the podium many, many times. All we're saying is, this is your district. You don't always manage the other district. We have to, Mary, you know also, that we have to, we have to act like, we have to act like what the reality is, and we've got to look at this in a bigger picture. We've got to look at the bigger picture and make some real And with that being said, what we've learned is this water use permit is coming up, and we may not speak to it later. It's an intensive water use permit, so it's carrots. The it's carrots, and the only thing that we need to be aware of is in the use of manufacturing. It's in the manufacturing operation of carrots. These are some of the most intense carrots to grow carrots, and some of the most intensive. They don't require so much water. I mean, we're looking at crops in North Florida that should be using less water. Why don't we allow, and I don't know how you can do that with a business entity. I don't know how you can say that necessarily well. You can't grow this crop, you have to grow this crop. And I know you kind of nudge them, your staff nudges them. I, I think that you all are nudging and trying to work with the farmers to make them think about what they're actually asking for. And you know, uh, you know, speaking of, you know, we can and we, we've been here together a long time, yeah. that, that this board and this district has done a lot to decrease the amount of water it takes to grow any particular crop. I mean, we've, yeah. we've spent, you know, we've retrofitted irrigation. We're, we're in the process of, of being able to offer <coughs> our, our consumptive, real consumptive use. I mean, we're, we're, we're putting down, we've, had, we've got millions of dollars that this board has agreed to put with under where we can track what our aquifers are really doing, where we can have have scientific data that we can back up whatever the whatever the return is. You know, but you you've seen what we're talking about. And and with that in mind, these are all can will. What we're asking for is a moratorium until that data is represented. When you start knowing. The actual, like with all these wells that we're putting down, I think like 2515, I can't remember how many are going down in the aquifer that you all are monitoring. After the data is collected, instead of while the data is being generated, that's when you lift the moratorium if you can. That's when you say, see, I don't see how Florida Statutes doesn't have something in there to protect our interests where you can say, hey, we're going to be doing this, we're going to be monitoring for, for the public good. And then, after we get the data, because that's what we're looking for, the money's there, if the, the wells are in the ground, then we do that work. Man, Instead they, of now man, we should be You understand this better than anybody probably sitting here, that, that we're a, a, you know, we're a, we're a, a state of laws, a exactly. nation of laws. Okay. And the laws are there. They're absolutely there to protect both sides, not just one side. We put a more, if we went to put a more to one, just like we're trying to put our data in place to be able to prove whatever it is we do yeah. need to do, we've got to have that. You just can't arbitrarily go in and cut people. The state it's statutes arbitrary. do not allow for that kind this of thing. This isn't arbitrary. This is it, not an arbitrary condition. What you're asking for as a mor moratorium, we they would they, they would come down on our ass and we would have to prove why we're not doing every one of those things. The so report that you're mentioning, that Mr. Brown mentioned today, shows today. If you were to look at that continuum, you would show a downgrade. The science there, the science is there showing downgrade. Yeah. Yeah, the science is not there showing an upgrade in, in anything that we've done in the last 10 years that I've been coming here. So we're still seeing declines. The science is there to back any sort of legal argument. If you want to, and it's not both sides. I really, actually, we're all on the same side. You no, but I mean, I mean what's a, when I said the same side, uh, 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 it's for both sides. It's for the for the natural resources and the economy. Exactly. And, and the, you know, I mean, there's, the, the laws protect both sides of that issue. And, and it's actually one side because the economy wins when we're protected. Well, yeah, I understand what you're saying. Don't disagree with that. But I can promise you, everybody would not when it, when it stopped. Everybody wouldn't see it that way. You know, it'd be, 
but we've, we've been down this road lots of times. Yeah. Thank you. Terry.